All right, here is the McGraw-Hill uh, virtual tutorial. Um, basically, it's going to sort of take you through um, the various important features to using McGraw-Hill um, system. And so normally you'd have the key concepts and overview, very important information for taking uh, notes on, because of course what the lab is about is very important. And when you get to the simulation, you see that it has on the far right this general overview. This is telling you all the different uh, steps you need to go through um, to complete the lab. And um, make sure you get rid of that. And uh, and then basically that's what you're supposed to do at any with any lab is go step by step through each thing. So. I use the next button, cycle through, and review descriptions of screen areas. All right, step by step instructions. Uh, there is the back button in case you want to see the introduction again. Uh, as you toggle between introduction and laboratory, actually, the back button would take you out of the, the lab. This is to get to the introduction versus the lab simulation, um, the title, what phase you're in for the lab. Um, various lab possibilities, you know, reviewing the methods, taking notes, and putting lab data, labeling things, um, navigating through the lab, um, basically all very important information. And I completed step one of phase one. So you want to make sure you keep closing these dialog boxes. Those dialog boxes are really annoying because you can't, you have to click that little X to get out of it before you can move on. All right, next is select accessibility and keyboard shortcuts. So we go up to little dude. And this gives you some information on preferences in case um, you need some sort of uh, help to some degree. All right. Select uh, methods from the toolbar. So here's the toolbar, here's methods. Again, tells you what you need to be doing, tells you what's going to happen in the future. Uh, re select reset from the toolbar. If you like to re reset, select current phase to reset this phase, select entire laboratory to reset the entire thing. Uh, select go to phase two in order to demonstrate attempting to move. So go to phase two. It would not let me because I haven't done six, seven, and eight. But as you can see, get rid of those annoying pop ups, I have done everything else to that point. So if you just wanted to see if uh, the things you've been doing have been recorded, you can always go to, click the, go to the next phase in order to see the check marks appear. Select my notes from the toolbar. Select the lab data. Uh, select labels, show labels. So now you can see what things are in case you're like, what is XYZ? You can click show labels to see that. Uh, select submit button in top right corner. Here's top right corner, submit. You have not finished simulation. So you don't really want to submit unless you're actually completely done. Go to phase two. Excellent. I actually have everything completed, so I get to go to phase two. Add four mils of hydrogen peroxide to test tube. Here's the hydrogen peroxide. Here's the test tube. And then put the peroxide back. Then it'll ask, you'll get asked questions periodically. You will then answer those. Uh, why is the experiment performed at 37 degrees? Because we need multiple values. Well, this is true. You have a specific reason. All right, it's supposed to be that one. Great job. Can see, pretty straightforward. Uh, zoom in on test tube. Oh, that's the test tube. Measure volume of bubbles. Let's see, 5 to 10. So that would be 10 minus 5 is 5. Go to data. It is 5. Enter zero. Okay. Stupid thing tells me to enter zero. Okay. Says that's wrong. Now enter five. Yay. 
Uh, and then go to phase three. Yay, we did everything. We're in phase three. Select temperature for x axis. Temperature. Select bubble volume for y axis. Bubble volume. Select line graph for graph type. Um, sometimes in future labs, they'll have you sort of do this sort of thing all on your own. So you might have to do a little trial and error to make sure you get the kind of graph that they want. Uh, great, look at that. It's a graph. 25, 37, and zero for everything else because we don't really have much more data. Yay. Uh, click save to save the graph. Go to phase four. You've completed. It will give you your data summary. You would probably want to take a screenshot of data summary, graphs saved, and any conclusions. Sometimes they include conclusions in the last. So you definitely want screenshots or notes taken of the final information. So the introductory information, very important. Final information, very important. And knowing the procedures that occur during the lab, also important. This tutorial will not show up on the lab quiz or any other quiz or anything like that. Won't show up on the exam. But the other virtual labs are relevant information that could end up on the exam. So you want to make sure you take notes of some type with them. All right. That is it for this virtual lab. I hope this uh, little video helped you out.